Paul, um, thank you for coming today and thank you for organizing such a great conference, Moving Team. Uh, my name is Sota Watanabe and this is my session and I'm going to talk about next generation smart contract using WebAssembly. Cool, uh, it's me. I'm founder and CEO of the Asta Network. CEO stands for Chief Everything Officer and I joined the Polkadot space back in 2019. And I started making Asa Network back in 2020. And we have a two chain, Shiden for Xama Parachain and Asta for Polkadot Parachain. And Shiden became a Xama Parachain roughly a year ago. And Asta became a Polkadot Parachain six months ago. So we are just like baby right now. But uh, our ecosystem is getting bigger and bigger and bigger right now. And we would like to be one of the leading Polkadot Parachain this year and next year. So what is Asta? Asta Network is the innovation hub on Polkadot, supporting Ethereum virtual machine, WebAssembly, and developer incentives. And by the way, so Asta has two slots at the Polkadot Decoded, Berlin and New York. Our CTO is talking about technical stuff in Berlin. So I would like to talk about uh, more general stuff. And I would like to explain WebAssembly as easy as possible. So what is EVM? EVM stands for Ethereum virtual machine. And WebAssembly stands for, um, WASM stands for WebAssembly. And I have an analogy. So it, it's like uh, Mac and Windows, right? So right now, if you are using PowerPoints or Word, Excel, you can use this type of application on the top of Mac and on the top of Windows or maybe Linux. And you can communicate each other. If you are using Mac, you can talk with, communicate with the user who are using Windows or Linux. And this is what we would like to make. And Polkadot consists of relay chain and parachain. So relay chain is the heart of the Polkadot. And parachain is the own chain, which has own logic, such as DeFi chain, maybe NFT chain, smart contract chain, and so on. And the opportunity for us is Polkadot does not support smart contract by design, I mean relay chain. So we need a parachain which supports smart contract. And when it comes to smart contract, there are two virtual machines, Ethereum virtual machine and WebAssembly. So our mission is to support the two virtual machines at the same time and make them interactive. And we also support developer incentive. I'm going to explain this innovative developer incentives later. Cool, uh, and this is my topic today. I'm going to talk about problems and solution and then our plans and conclusion. And I have one surprise at the end of the, this presentation, so stay tuned. So problem, uh, before talking about problem, uh, one question I would like to ask is, that, is Polkadot another EVM chain? The answer is, right now, yes. Because 100% of commercial application build on Polkadot, maybe either on Asta or Moonbeam, uh, on EVM. But in the future, it's no. So problem number one is EVM is the only one virtual machine which Polkadot supports today. And according to Gavin, uh, WebAssembly is the future of the smart contract, but uh, Ethereum virtual machine is super important right now. So to align with Gavin's vision, having WebAssembly is extremely important, not only in the Polkadot space, but also entire blockchain space to realize Web 3.0. And Ethereum virtual machine is definitely great, and it is widely used, especially in the Ethereum ecosystem. So it is really important for us to support Ethereum virtual machine to bring a lot of the user from other chain to Polkadot. But at the same time, Ethereum virtual machine has some limitations, like low performance, um, security stuff, and limited languages, and mainly, it's mainly for Ethereum developer. And problem two right now is, Developers are paying a lot of the cost to deploy smart contract, right? In case of 
Ethereum, in a worst case, you have to pay thousands of dollars, you know, maybe two thousand two, $2, dollars to deploy just smart contract. Developer is the most important human resource in a blockchain ecosystem, but they are paying a lot of the gas fee to deploy smart contract to make dApps or maybe to make infrastructure. It, it does not make sense because blockchain is all about networking effect and it's, uh, it's all about incentive design, but uh, developer is paying a lot of the cost. So we would like to solve this. So what we need right now is two things. So first thing is new and superior smart contract and tooling. And second one is incentive design for developers. And we have solutions. And this is where WebAssembly comes in. And WebAssembly is the virtual machine developed by uh, big companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, and Mozilla. So it is widely used in the Web2 space. And it has high performance and more secure. And it supports a lot of the languages, such as Go, Last, uh, Python, and you know, even, even Kotlin, developed, developed by Google. And in a substrate space, Parity is developing Inc. It is EDS L language of the last. And Patrick Lab is developing assembly script uh, smart contract language for substrate. Right now, we have two, but the number of the programming language will be increasing. And then a lot of the languages can be supported by um, Polkadot ecosystem. So the important thing is supporting WebAssembly means unlocking Web3 for Web2 people. Because Web2 people are using WebAssembly, and Web2 people are good at, Web2 developers are good at, let's say, Go or maybe Last and some other languages. So it is extremely important to unlock Web3 for Web2 developer for the mass adoption. And this is what we are working on right now. And another thing I would like to introduce today is uh, DAPS staking. This is very innovative uh, incentive design for all developers. So if you have a star token, you can stake a star token on DAPS. And then basic income will be distributed from block inflation to developer. So if you are developing something to on the top of, let's say, other chain, you have to pay gas fee. But if you are developing on Asta, you have to pay gas fee as well. But you can get basic income based on your contribution. And we can measure the DAPS, the, the you know, performance by measuring total value locked or maybe on-chain activities such as transactions. And people stake their token on DAPS, and all people know how many Asta tokens are staked on our DAPS such as Aswap, Sirius Finance, um, you know, Star A, and others. And from the inflation, the basic income will be automatically distributed to the ecosystem project. So projects are encouraged to create something meaningful for the end users, because end user is going to stake, I mean vote, and then project can get income. And we are making a DAPS portal where people can stake token. And we are replicating Apple Store because we would like to make application store on the top of Polkadot. But no worry about commission fee. We are not going to take 30% of commission. We are going to distribute basic income to uh, DAPS project on the top of our star. So we are making developer-centric platform for the developer and by developer. So what's next? 
As I said, um, there is a huge transition from EVM to WebAssembly, but uh, this transition takes years, maybe more than two years, I would say. So it is extremely important for the Polkadot ecosystem to support both Ethereum virtual machine and WebAssembly at the same time on single chain. And then we would like to make them interactive. So having two virtual machines at the same time and making them interoperable are the key successful factor. So if you deploy something on the top of our EVM, you can interact with application on our web, web assembly. And if you develop something on the top of web assembly, you can interact with our existing EVM solution. So the conclusion. So I have explained the two things, uh, web assembly stuff and also DAPS staking. Having WebAssembly is super important, not only Polkadot ecosystem, not only in the Asta ecosystem, but also in the entire Web3 space. And DAPS staking is very innovative solution to encourage people to make something meaningful for end users. And we just activated XCM, so we can interact with Akala, Moonbeam, Parallel, and Manta, and other chains from now on. So what we would like to do from right now is to make cross-chain use cases, because this is the power of the Polkadot. And we have to show cross-chain trustless use cases to the blockchain ecosystem. And as I said, I have more, one more surprise. So this is a big one. Um, Xama finally support WebAssembly. Thank you very much. Yeah, Parity Technologies is doing an amazing job. And WebAssembly is finally supported by Shiden, which is Xama Parachain. So this is the first parachain that supports WebAssembly in a commercial environment. So we are, all, and we are entering the new, new chapter. It was EVM era, but right now, we enter the era which support not only Ethereum virtual machine, but also uh, WebAssembly. So beyond Ethereum virtual machine, we would like to unlock the potential of the Polkadot. And last thing, so we are hiring. We are hiring WebAssembly smart contract developer, senior substrate developer, and developer relations, and developer operations. So <laughs> many positions are available. Cool, so right now, finally, WebAssembly is supported on Xama. So I'm super, super excited to be able to make super innovative use cases on Polkadot. So yeah, let's make it together. Thank you for listening. <laughs>